Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Lee Borossi. I, uh, in today's video, will share with you guys my meal prep and uh, menu for the week. <laughs> we went grocery shopping yesterday. It's actually midweek, it's Wednesday. Um, so it's a little shorter menu this time around. But I wanted to share with you guys what's on my menu and some of the things that I'm meal prepping and some of the things that you can do beforehand to make it easier on yourself. So for my meal prep menu this week for breakfast, I have the list here. I have yogurt parfait, I have banana pancakes, oatmeal with oatmeal with cinnamon and apple, and then I have egg on toast. And uh, the banana pancakes are something that you can prepare in advance. It's super easy it's probably the most easy thing you can do um ever <laughs> even you can you can remember the recipe if i'm telling you it's two ingredients one egg one banana mix the two together and then you just take your your saute pan and you make little pancakes you could add um, a scoop of protein powder to the batter if you want to have protein banana pancakes um but they are super delicious hot or cold with fresh berries you can have some honey on top or even you can have some yogurt on top it all depends on you the yogurt parfait i guess you could uh, meal prep you could take a mason jar maybe add some fresh fruit and berries maybe to the bottom add some yogurt and then when it's time to eat you just add your granola and that's it i'm planning to do my own granola but i'm not going to be able to fit all of the recipes into one video so i'm just sharing with you now the basic plan and then i have a couple of recipes later on in the video uh, for treats i'm making my energy bites jello and uh, i want to make yogurt barks barks i don't know how to say it, but like you you take a tray and you you put some greek yogurt and fresh fruit on top and you freeze it and you and you break it up and have it as a snack um that i have never done that before so that's something new that i want to try jello jello i think you say or gelatina in spanish we uh, we did last night so i had that in the fridge but caesar already ate half so <laughs> not so fun to show you um but that's not so high in calories and it's it's quite tasty if you like if you like the texture, then you will enjoy it. If you don't like the texture, then I don't know. Um, I'm not a very big jello person, but I feel like if I'm desperate, then maybe why not? Um, and for my normal like uh, meals, I'm doing uh, a tuna salad. I'm going to be sharing that in today's video. It's, uh, it's uh, with tuna and eggs, a little bit of mayonnaise, a ton of fresh ingredients and herbs and uh, it, it's super delicious you can have it on a salad you can have it on a pasta you can have it as a pasta salad you could have it uh, by itself with uh, a tortilla bread or there are one million ways of how to eat this tuna salad but it's super delicious and it's very fast and easy to make so that's something we are prepping today for the week i'm probably gonna have mine post workout because i'm not ready to have lunch quite yet uh, but i still want to have some food coming into me um, and then I'm gonna be preparing some chicken breast some boneless chicken breast for like to save in a tupper to have for salads or various kinds of meals we are prepping salmon and I'm thinking a lemon ginger salmon uh, with soya sauce something something I haven't decided yet we are doing a couscous with sun-dried tomatoes and a veggie pasta with tuna and that one I did a few days ago to try out the recipe and it's so delicious. But in today's video, I'm sharing the energy bites and I'm sharing the tuna salad mainly. But so that's the menu for the week. So I'm thinking we can mix and match. And if I have a, a few tappers in my refrigerator, it's going to be very easy for me to just grab and go. And uh, one new snack that I have been loving is that I take a lot of green kale and I saute it in a pan with some fresh garlic salt and pepper and a tiny bit of olive oil and if you saute it until it's crispy it's like to have chips like crisps and it's so satisfying <laughs> but you can also have it just warmed up and it's lovely as a base for a warm salad i feel like the green kale i think for me it's so delicious if i have the or even you can do garlic powder you don't need don't need to have fresh garlic i think garlic powder actually is better for when you're making the crisps because i don't think you want to snack on like um garlic bites when you make them as crisps you could put them in the oven i don't know for how long so i'm not recommending that but i know people that do but it's so satisfying you feel i feel like i can eat 
a ton and, and I get full because you need to chew and it's, it's I love the flavor it gets from the um, from the garlic powder it's, it's amazing you have to try it. salad that I'm prepping for the week we have four things of tuna uh, four cans of tuna four boiled eggs hard-boiled eggs and then we have two peeled tomatoes mid mid-size I would say medium size and then I have a part of a big bell pepper or for you might be a full bell pepper I don't know but here is more or less the uh, how much it is and I have a bowl of salt pepper garlic powder Basil, dried basil, sweet paprika, and I think that's all. I'm gonna be adding one full lemon, um, lemon juice, and then we're also adding some mayonnaise. And this is gonna be our glue, Hector is helping. But uh, yeah, that's the tuna salad that I'm doing for my meal prep for this week. If I can, without you destroying it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Hector. Thanks, Hector. No, this is what it looks like when it's fully mixed. I think the more lemon you add, the less mayonnaise you have to add. This is packed with flavor and it's great for like a side uh, for a salad or on top of a rice cake a or cake. together with some yeah. uh, crisps or on a um, whatever. You can use this for whatever. But for me, this is something I like to have like a post workout half meal kind of thing and I like to have it also on top of a salad um, and trying to be healthy so I recommend it I hope you try it and if you do please let me know what you think while the kids are playing next to me I'm also trying to make some energy bites and I don't know how tasty it lo this looks I just wanted to show you more or less like what the ingredients were so I have one part mixed seeds that I made almost like a dust I have two parts oats and one part honey, one part um, peanut butter and then some dark chocolate. You could opt for raisins or dry fruit or whatever that you might like. Now I'm gonna mix this all together. It's gonna be come more like a paste and then I'm gonna refrigerate it for one hour and then make them into <coughs> tiny little balls and we will have as a snack. <coughs> Do you like it? <laughs> yeah so that's that's the basic meal plan for this week the menu and all of that i'm gonna be sharing with you guys a grocery haul what we got uh, when we went shopping this week and we went to three stores we went to aldi lidl and mercadona we met we bought the majority of the things in aldi so i think that can be useful for many guys of of you i suppose that the majority of you guys live in the states if i'm looking at where people are watching from so i think that could be useful information for you guys as well i'm currently based in spain so that's what's going on but yeah if you are new here don't forget to subscribe if you are embarking on this weight loss journey don't forget to subscribe i'm sharing with you what's happening like from the beginning i'm I'm one week in to my journey, so I'm truly sharing with you guys like the process of getting to reach my goals. And I feel like this is what's missing on YouTube. I feel like so many people are showing the transformation. They are showing like this is what I looked like before and this is what I look like after. And they, they don't say that they have been training for eight or ten years. Um, and they, they look amazing and we are like, okay, why can I not, why can't I look like that? <laughs> and I know that with hard work, I can look like that. But I want to share with you guys what I'm doing to reach my goals so that you can do the same and reach your goals. And I would love to know what kind of goals you guys have. Is it fat loss, weight loss? Are you like me trying to rebuild your body after trauma? I'm currently dealing with uh, some postpartum complications. We are figuring out what's going on with me. Um, I am with chronic pains in my arms. I'm suffering from 
loss of sensation in my arms and my legs and my back is completely destroyed from pregnancy. I suffer from very severe scoliosis and um, yeah, it left, it has left my body very weak and with a lot of pains. So I'm doing all that I can to try and uh, live the best life I possibly can. My doctor told me that if I don't start to make changes, then I would probably end up in a wheelchair very soon and she told me that before my last baby so you can imagine how painful my back is at the moment yeah ah and i should also mention go ahead and check out my last video where i shared like the, the beginning of my journey like what i looked like when i started this journey and a body update a current body update i am sharing weekly or bi-weekly i think uh, what's going on so yeah stick around for more Bye.